Hello, my name is John Marsh, R3 Program Manager for the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish. One of my many jobs is to recruit new hunters in New Mexico. Squirrel hunting can be a fun, exciting activity for the entire family to participate in. Some of the reasons to squirrel hunt include a long, three-month season. Squirrels can be hunted in the fall when the temperatures are still mild. Squirrel hunting doesn't require a lot of rigorous, high-intensity hiking. And squirrel meat is lean, tasty, and hormone-free. If you have been interested in squirrel hunting and been confused on where to start, please watch this video. I'll be addressing all the gear you will need to purchase, as well as listing the most important game laws a beginner should be aware of. I highly recommend that a beginner find a mentor who has squirrel hunted before. This mentor can cover all aspects of squirrel hunting. If you're unable to find a physical mentor, please sign up for the powder hook application on your cell phone. You can get answers to all of your squirrel hunting questions through the digital mentors on this application. There are seven different sporting arms that are legal to use for squirrel hunting. However, those most suited to a beginner are a compressed air pellet rifle, a rimfire rifle, or a shotgun. If you are budget-minded, a 177 or 22 caliber pellet air rifle can be purchased for around $100 and allows you to make short to medium range shots at non-moving targets. Just make sure your muzzle velocity is 900 feet per second or more. A definite advantage to a pellet air rifle is that it is almost silent, allowing the shooter to take multiple shots at unwary squirrels. A 22 caliber rimfire rifle has the ability to make short, medium, and long range shots on non-moving targets. It allows for precise headshots when coupled with a scope. This rifle in semi-automatic and pump actions allows for quick successive shots. A shotgun with an interchangeable choke is the most versatile sporting arm of the three. It can shoot short and medium range shots on moving or non-moving targets and allows for quick successive shots when using a pump or semi-automatic action. A 12 gauge shotgun allows the user to hunt all of New Mexico's small game species. Ammunition caliber and gauge size needs to match the designation of your firearm. See my previous waterfowl hunting video on how to determine gauge and caliber sizes. A 22 caliber pellet has more stopping power than a 177, although you can use either one for squirrel hunting. A 22 long rifle bullet has more velocity than a short or a long and is also easier to find. You can use a two and three quarter inch shotgun shell in number five, number six, or number seven lead shot to hunt squirrels. In general, air rifle pellets are the cheapest of the three while shotgun shells are the most expensive. Binoculars are crucial to locate stationary squirrels hiding high in the tree canopy behind vegetation. They can also allow the hunter to locate squirrels on the forest floor that are far away from the hunter. A body harness decreases fatigue, frees up the hands, and also makes the binoculars instantly accessible. A lightweight hunting vest with lots of pockets can make storing equipment easier and more accessible than a backpack. This vest can be used to store ammunition, bottled water, a compass, GPS unit, a hunting license, a first aid kit, and plastic grocery bags. These grocery bags can be used to store harvested squirrels inside of before pocketing them. Ear protection can save your hearing whenever using firearms. You can use either earmuffs or earplugs. Both of these work and there are advantages and disadvantages to using either one. So select the ones that are most comfortable for you and that you will use. Something to consider. If you're shooting a shotgun, earmuffs could possibly interfere with mounting your cheek on the gun stock. A global positioning system unit, along with a backup compass, can keep a hunter from getting lost. It is easy to become disoriented in the woods when all your attention and energy are focused on your quarry. 
It would be a good idea to check the functionality of the GPS unit before venturing hunting. A compass stashed inside of your vest can save your life if the GPS unit were to break or malfunction for any reason. It's always a good idea to have extra batteries for the GPS. A small, compact, lightweight first aid kit can keep a hunting trip from turning into a disaster. This kit can help with minor allergies, digestive issues, allergic reactions, and even temporary survival. At a minimum, this kit should contain aspirin, Benadryl, Imodium AD, water treatment tablets, band-aids, tweezers, a compact lighter, gauze, and a needle. Make sure you always have a hunting license with applicable stamps on your person whenever you're hunting. For squirrel, this includes a general hunting license, a habitat management and access validation, and a habitat stamp when hunting on Bureau of Land Management or Forest Service lands. A plastic water bottle can be perfect for hydration. Be sure to save the empty bottle to avoid littering and to also use in a potential survival situation with the water tablets from your first aid kit. No proof of sex or species is required for squirrels. They can be cleaned with game shears and a hunting knife. This equipment, along with a cooler with ice packs inside, can be kept in your vehicle for after a successful hunt.